So nice to see a royal with the common touch. You were wonderful out there today, darling. Maybe we'll get to share the stage again soon. <laughs> <laughs> trust me, still kind of shady. Oh, I got trust issues from this game. Hey guys, it's Hazel here. Welcome back to another Dragon Quest gameplay video. Um, we just reached this town... I can't remember what the heck the name of it is, but we just reached, like, the desert area. We reached this town. I did some exploring. We're about to go to the Sultan's Palace to see if he can give us the branch, which I doubt that's gonna come easy. We might have to steal that bad boy. Uh, I'm saving up the church. I need, I need, um, them to heal me, please. Oh. Oh! You could reset skill points with this. I don't need to do that, but... Actually, yes. Yes, I do. For Eric, I accidentally use something for swords. I don't want to do swords. Yeah. Yes, please. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, swords is not what I want to do. I want to always use knives, so. Um. I mean, I do have one point in boomerang, so I really want to see what that question mark one is. I hope it's something for knives. Fantastic. Okay. Alright. I don't want to. Uh, let's see here. Okay. He can't carry me, so whatever. Alright, so let's go to the Sultan's place and see what's up with him. Should really just be running. Run! I got my bang here as usual because I don't know if I can function without one at this point in my life. <laughs> oh, you got a cute kitty! Oh. They got an orange kitty kitty! Oh, it's so cute! Can I say hi to this one? Oh my goodness, they're so cute! All right, let's uh, crush some barrels over here. Ooh, a strong antidote. Ooh, another kitty kitty! Ooh, there's so many cats in this palace. I like it. The Sultan likes his kitties. So we have these guys that are fighting. I'm gonna... Uh, There's another kitty over there. Ooh. So, smash some more pots. See. Anything else? No. So I'm gonna go into separate rooms first because I want to explore. Ooh, look at this cool. Ooh, it's the prince's bedchamber. There's a treasure chest in here. Don't mind if I steal it. Oh, I got a broadsword. Something I could use, right? I already got that, one of those. And it's plus th three. Bam. Okay. Ooh. Red books over here. Yada, yada, yada. Anything? No, no recipes. Well, you guys suck. Anything? No, no, no recipes? No, okay. Feathered cap, I do not need one of those, but I could sell it for some months and maybe buy something else. Uh, okay. So, whose bedchamber is this one? Is it a princess? Royal bedchamber. Don't look much different from the prince's one. You think the royal one would be a lot bigger? Because, I mean, technically, it is the master bedroom. Ha! Huh. 
Okay. <laughs> I stole the Sultan's boxer shorts. <laughs> Ooh, and I stole uh, the Queen's fishnet stockings, so. Anything good in this red book? No? Anything in here I can steal? Concrete earrings. Let's see what they do. Da, da, da. Defense and charm. Wait, what is? It's got gold chain defense charm. It's better than the concrete earrings. No, charm is the same. But I'm just gonna go. She doesn't need one of these, so... Yeah. Okay, now we go up the stairs. Oh, it's just right in the open here. Oh, okay, cutscene. This race. <clears throat> Fellow Gallopolitans, this is no ordinary sand national. This race marks the day that Faris, my son and heir, comes of age, and as such... You, no, no, no! An event of such significance must have eloquence to match. <laughs> such functional pleasantries will not thrill my beloved subjects. And who exactly might you be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave. Immediately. <laughs> oh. Father, my training is complete. Hi, Prince. <coughs> then give me the pledge. <laughs> Epic. A knight's word is his bond, his kingdom his master. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong un unflinchingly, ha, and never retreats in the face of adversity. Good save, dude. Ah. Mm, yes, very good. The Knight's Pledge must always be your guide, my son. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> <laughs> he's just so tiny and he's got a big You throw. are a man now, Faris. And tomorrow's race shall prove it. You must show your people that you are worthy of their adulation. Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor they. Why are you staring at me like that? It's kind of creepy, dude. <coughs> what is your name, stranger? And what brings you to Galopolis? Uh... I'm sorry, I can't speak, so I must nod at you. Hmm. Surely he speaks of the rainbow. It is the only treasure of our kingdom that would warrant such a description. Hmm. I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the great staircase. I shall await you there. I don't know if I should trust this guy. I mean, we kind of have bad luck with kingdoms and royalty and such, you know? You know, one king tried to kill me. A thousand pardons, but his excellently the most exalted sultan is rather preoccupied with preparations for the Sand National at the moment. Huh? Prince Ferris's chambers? Simply turn left at the foot of the Great Staircase. But please, you must not disturb him at this important time. Whatever. I'm gonna disturb him anyway. Apparently he likes what he sees. <laughs> I got oasis water and a bag of kitty litter. You know, I'm not surprised there's kitty litter because there's a lot of kitties in this place. Um, oh, more pots to smash. Look 
fucked is the bard? Tra la la. There's a guard here and a guard ah. there and. Princess chambers were this way. It's not exactly the left, but whatever. Ah, you came. Thank you. I like this feather though. It's kind of cool. Hmm. I did come. Yes, yes. Your height and physique are perfect, and you have the face of. One who knows horses. Mm, are you gonna ask for me to sub for you at the race? <clears throat> you should be aware that the branch you seek is a priceless royal treasure. My father is unlikely to give it away freely to some <laughs> wandering stranger. However, he might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. <gasps> but the palace walls have so many unwelcome ears. Uh, ah, the noise of the circus will protect our privacy. Privacy. Will you join me there? Yeah, sure. Then why it not? is agreed. I will meet you at the entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. Do not be late, please. Okay. Do I have to wait until evening? I guess. Alright, let's get GTFO. Oh, the kitties! I would love to work at this palace. Oh, the kitties around. It's very cute. Can I buy tickets? Oh, it's not open during daytime. Whatever. I can't buy tickets for this evening? Ooh, the bar. Okay. Now I gotta go meet the prince. He's wearing a hood. Alright, let's go in and see the circus, shall we? We have a special table. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the act you've all been waiting for. The Wandering Wonder, who amazes audiences wherever he goes! Prepare yourselves for an experience like no other! Prepare yourselves for... The Great Silvando! Silvando! I like that name! <laughs> oh my. Oh, he can juggle some balls. He's really good with his balls. Oh, that's cool. I'm juggling knives. On one foot. Yeah. And gentlemen, please! There is no need to be afraid! The great Silvando will never endanger his adoring audience. After all, darlings, 
You are the ones who make this show so special. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Quickly, we must talk while the people are distracted. And please. Now, as you may be aware, the Sun National is the most important event of the year here in Galopolis. Okay. And tomorrow, I am due to make my debut in the race to end all races. However, there is a problem. One teeny tiny terrible problem. I cannot ride. In fact, I have barely so much as sat in a saddle. Mm-hmm. I knew it. Huh? I have so far been able to hide this uh, unfortunate fact, but if I were to take part in the race, the inconvenient truth would surely be uncovered. And yet I have no choice for a prince of Golopolis not to take part in the Sun National on the year of his coming of age is unthinkable! Unthinkable! <sighs> when the hell didn't you try riding a horse before then? Bro! So you see, your coming here was fated. It is a sign. The forces of destiny mean me to use you as my double. Ta-da! Hmm. Your double? How's that gonna work? Won't everyone notice as soon as he walks out onto the track? Ah, the fates have provided that also. For you see, the royal family always races in full armor, lest the unthinkable occur. His face will be hidden from view. Hmm. Oh, please, please. I beg of you. You must help me. You must enter the Sun National in my place. You are the most pathetic excuse for a <laughs> prince I've ever seen. <laughs> If you think we're going to help you lie to your people, you've got another thing coming. Oh, she calling him out. You got that chaos. Then I assume that your need of the rainbow is not so great after all. Wow. Talk about shameless. <laughs> Call me what you were. Call him out, girl. Nothing. You will do as the fates wish and take my place in the race? Yes? Do I really have a choice? <laughs> I knew you would see sense in the end. Thank you. I will talk to my father about the rainbow as soon as the race is over. You have my word. Okay. I took the liberty of arranging rooms for you at the inn. Rest well. I will see you in the stables bright and early. You will find the stable entrance in the western part of the city. Do not be late. Now, I must be on my way. Farewell! Friends. For now, I guess we're friends. Not much of a choice. <laughs> hmm. That guy overheard everything. He gonna call us out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I know it's a sand national. I'm probably gonna fail. <sighs> okay. Well, let's just get on with it. Okay, so this is stable. So I'm assuming this room is where I'm supposed to go. And talk to this guy, maybe. Prince Ferris, yes, his highness is through here at the royal dressing room. You may enter, but please, but remember to be respectful, please. Okay. It's respectful to this little bitch-ass baby? Hmm. I mean, he could have at least tried to actually ride a horse but into preparation for this event. Why hasn't he tried? What's his issue? Thank the stars! I was beginning to worry that I might actually have to try and ride a horse. 
Now come, the race will begin shortly, and fear not. I remember my promise. If you do as we agreed, I will ask my father about the branch. Well, are you ready? I guess. Good, now hurry. You must don the royal galop... I can't even pronounce this town's name. Galopitian armor. <laughs> and helm. Fear not, they will fit you perfectly, I am sure. Gideon takes the prince's armor and helms and puts them on. As if they were made for you, no one will suspect for a moment that you are not, in fact, the prince of Galopolis. Now the race is about to begin. My, sorry, your steed waits outside. Once you're safely mounted, make your way through the paddock. The racetrack lays beyond. Meet me afterwards in the passageway that leads to the racetrack. You can give me the helm and no one will be any the wiser. Now go, and remember, you are the Prince of Galopolis, and your public expects great things from you. Do not make a fool out of me. Something's about to happen, like, you had that shady-ass clown dude, like, smirk at the prince. This is my steed. Ooh, it's red. Mount thy royal steed! Oh, god. Oh. Sorry. It's this way. Um... Anything to break in here? Keep any straight through or what? Nothing in here? Sure. I'm ready, bitches. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Pretty damn sure I'm gonna fail, so. Look at the queen, she's just like, whatever. Hooray! All hail, Prince Varys! Because I shot like that too. Hooray! <laughs> Prince Varys! You can at least wave or something, dude. Pretend it you're the must prince. It's wonderful to be so popular, darling. But of course, you are used to it. Being a real live prince, huh? The name's Silvando, by the way. One of the other riders had a little whoopsie, so I had to step in at the last minute. You sure, okay. But don't think I'll be going easy on you just because you're royalty. Where would be the fun in that? Try to keep up, little princey! That guy's- I'm, I'm kind of envious of that guy's eyelashes. They're pretty fabulous. Look how ritzy that horse is with its tail feathers. <laughs> Hold R2 to send your horse speeding ahead. Press X to tug on the reins for a nice tight turn around those tricky corners. Your trusty sea stamina will be suddenly subsides. The tears are on the track, but try but top it up by running through the green swirler three, and you'll soon be back in the running. Do I have to finish first? Cause I'm not good at this type of thing, but I could try. I could drift. Start! Ha ha, bitches! Oh god! Oh god, oh god! I'm holding down X! I'm trying to drift! Oh god, I told you I wasn't good at this thing. Uh. I guess I gotta press X? That guy is fast.
Dude, I'm trying to press X, yo. It's just not working for me! I'm trying to drift. Ah, take that, bitch! Last lap! Oh god. I can't drift on my horse! Oh, of course, okay. The uh, circuit's not bad! I mean, like I was fast! <laughs> Trying to drift was hard. Can I redo that? <laughs> nope. You are most talented, a far more natural horseman than I had anticipated. <laughs> now quickly, my public await. Okay. Fear not, my friend. I have not forgotten my promise. I will discuss the rainbow with my father, just as soon as my people have finished showering me with adulation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good luck! The cheers of Prince Ferris's adoring public fill the air as he makes his way out onto the track. Praise the fates! Our plan was a success! Thank you. You have spared me great humiliation. <laughs> I will go immediately to my father and ask about the rainbow. I should undress. All hail Prince Faris, pride of the desert, horseman extraordinaire. Darling, you were fabulous. It was enough to bring a tear even to my jaded eye. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 oh. Wait, don't tell me you were... <gasps> Surely you didn't let your understudy take the stage for the command performance? <gasps> oh, this is too, too good! Mm -hmm. Wait, wait! But you do not understand the pressure I am under! A prince of Galopolis who could not ride a horse is a disgrace to the kingdom! I did what was necessary for the sake of my people! And now, all can be forgotten. Yes? And there was silly old Silvando thinking that knights never retreated in the face of adversity. Silence! I am the prince of this kingdom, and I will not have a traveling jester lecture me on chivalry. <laughs> <gasps> a thousand pardons, your highness. <gasps> uh, yeah, hide, you idiot. The Sultan wishes to see you, Your Highness. Your magnificent display of horsemanship has pleased him greatly. Very good. I will come right away. My promise still stands. Come to the throne room in a little while. We will see what can be done about this branch of yours. So nice to see a royal with the common touch. You were wonderful out there today, darling. Maybe we'll get to share the stage again soon. <laughs> <laughs> trust me, still kind of shady. Oh, I got trust issues from this game. Outstanding. <laughs> All right. Um, nothing.
need to go up the stairs. Yeah, up the s no. No, I don't. Not up those stairs. Oh, look, barrels for me to crush. You gave me a fr Sorry, old lady, at least I, I, I didn't give me a heart attack. Jesus. I would feel a lot worse if I gave you a heart attack. Hey, look, the barrels are up again. Monies? Muns? Monies? No? Okay, so... Um... There was no weapons. It was all armor that I wanted. There's a couple things I can sell really quick. Ooh, barrels. Even if I know there's nothing in them, I still want to smush them. Hiya! Okay. Um. Equipment bag. Yes, I want to sell that. I want to sell this. Uh, this. Yes. Let me see if I can buy anything now. I know I really can't buy much. Nope. Can't even buy the leather cape. Or the armor. I is too broke. I'll buy them later. I'll go kill some enemies and then buy it. Okay. Let's go up the stairs. To the Sultan's Palace. So I'm sure I'm gonna have to do something soon. Mm -hmm. You can fish in this game? desired is to fulfill my duties as a prince and as a knight. Father, if I may, I have promised to assist these travelers. Would you permit me to explain? Gladly, my son. It warms my heart to see you aiding those in need. Truly, you have taken the knight's pledge to heart. Mm. Thank you, Father. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Galopolis in search of the rain. Your Majesty. Oh no, what's going on? The beast has returned. It attacked one of our men while we were out on patrol. The beast? The Slayer of the Sands is back? Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the year? We will stand for this no longer. I must dispatch my finest knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns to terrorize the celestial sands. But wait! My boy, the fates are speaking to us! Capturing the Slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become! What? <laughs> but, father, <laughs> so many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and... Perished. <laughs> Surely, <laughs> I do not stand a chance. Yeah, he does not stand a chance. <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. But you cannot hide your true feelings. You are trembling with excitement. <laughs> sure, excitement. This is your moment, Faris, my boy. Capture the Slayer and take your place in history. <laughs> but uh, I, I, ah, uh, ve very well, Father. <laughs> Yay! I shall begin my preparations right away. Good luck, bro. Pardons, the, the rainbow will have to wait. Meet me in my chambers. There is something we must discuss. Oh. What a coward. <laughs> and you call <laughs> yourself a knight. Oh boy. Oh, 
please, please, I beg of you, the Slayer of the Sands will tear me limb from limb unless you aid me. Have pity on a desperate soul. Uh, mm -hmm. Spoken like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? No! No, such a thing is impossible! I am no knight! I neglected my training! Uh -huh, of I course. allowed my vassals to fight all my battles for me! <laughs> oh, it is not my fault! I am an only child! I was coddled from birth and praised for the most insignificant of achievements! I did not wish to disappoint my parents or my people, so I, I, I found ways of, of seeming to fulfill their expectations without necessarily doing so. <laughs> but the more I fulfilled them, the more their expectations grew, and now finally they expect the impossible. Oh, oh, oh it's so unfair. Oh, woe is you. Don't you see? If you refuse to help me, I will be sent to my doom, and through no fault of my own. <laughs> Please, will you take pity on your old friend? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Ten thousand thank yous. <laughs> and fear not. I will speak to my father about the rainbow as soon as the beast is captured. We must make preparations to depart immediately. I will await you at the castle gates. What a pathetic excuse for a prince. Goodness knows what will become of Galopolis with him in charge. Mm-hmm. Mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting so much of you. She's too nice. I agree with Veronica. He's being a little bitch, baby. All right. Well, let's head on the road here. Just head out the front then. Let's go. I mean no disrespect, Your Highness, but how could you do this to us? You have volunteered us for certain death. Fear not, trusted retainers. We do not journey into the jaws of danger alone. Ha! Impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. Now, the beast lair is said to be located deep within the celestial sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the... We march immediately for Galopolis. For Galopolis. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Poor yeah! guys. They're like, we're gonna die. Room for a little one? Oh, I'd hate to miss a good beast hunt. Huh? Of course, it's that guy. <laughs> There's no such thing as a good beast hunt, friend. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. 
Well, aren't you just a lovely, patronizing little dear? Look, I'm worried about the half-wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? Yeah, yeah, you can come. At least one of you has some sense. Lead on, darling! Yeah. How? <laughs> How? <laughs> Love his little pose. To a cactus. We gotta kill it. Ooh, what is this thing? Attack! It looks like a weird slug eagle. Haha. -ha. He got shocked. I see my other little dude over there. It's not half bad. Darlings. Yay, I'm level 13. Um, do I have anything I want to use? What is this? It's ready to improve. Deathness. Swords. Ooh. I need 10 though. Ah, save up my stuff for that, I guess. Ooh, treasure chest. Okay, wood and a chimera wing. Alright. Ooh, shinies. Don't mind if I do. Got a beastie bone. Anything up here? Worth grabbing? I never went down here to look for shinies either, did I? Shinies, treasure chest, shinies, treasure chest. Okay, well... Nothing. Enough tin. All right, so we're gonna fight. Squelch. Let's do... Veronica. <sighs> yeah, attack him. I don't know how much his life is. There goes Blob, man. Aha! Oh. 
Oh, there's a cactus bad boy. We need to kill one of these things. Oh, one of them is shiny and golden. Oh, fuck. Ah, it's a golden globe. It's the thing we need to kill. We need to kill the Golden Globe. Crack. This one. And we're gonna heal Don't Eric. Worry. I'm here to help. Golden Globe. Die already. Man, he's pretty strong. Looks angry. <laughs> nice. All right. Ooh, three hundred sixty-one. Ooh, got golden ore too. Yay! I got the golden globule. Yay! Okay. Let's go to the resting area over here. Um, I want to save really quickly. Yes. Every time. Yes, I do. Continuing on. Um, I think if I... There we go. Boop. Okay. Let's just move on. Attack another dude. Why not? Bye bye, Puffball. Hey, yeah. Chinese over here. Some Chinese, this little cactus guys. Chinese over here. I know this is not where we're supposed to be going, but okay. Yeah. Ooh, a shiny. Snake skin! Anything in this checkpoint? Nothing in the checkpoint. Okay. Halt! The Slayer of the Sands is on the loose. I will not allow you to. Ah! You're the ones who are accompanying Prince Ferris, yes? A thousand pardons. His Highness asks that you be instructed to go right on through. Ah, uh, thank you. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, 
Look, it's these little cute things. So we've got a different variety. Look at them all dancing together like freaking Pokemon. We'll do Cacklot. Because he's out by his own. And... I'll do the Needlers for this. Okay. Hitter. Award for defeating 300 monsters. Wow. I've killed 300 monsters? Doesn't feel like it. So I see a shiny over there. So I'm gonna get the shiny first. And then we'll go on. I'll kill this guy because he's in front of my face, so. These weird, ugly eagle slugs. I call them eagle slugs. Ah! Wow, that's the first time he's actually missed something. Other than, you know, stealing stuff. But. Did pretty good, I, just I guess. Keep getting better. Oh, nice! She learned a new spell, fizzle and bang. Okay. Uh, I don't know what she has to use, so. Magical might. Bell freeze, I've used that. Anti magic. Ah, oh, yeah, we'll do this. Yay! Staff of Salvation restores loot with the HP to a single ally. Nice, okay. Increase maximum MP when wheeling heavy wands. Okay. Cool. Oh, and Veronica is the next to level up. Oh, is that the beast? Who the fuck are these dudes? Okay, hold on. Let me heal all. And then we'll use a on her and on me. Cause these guys look like bad news. They look like little worshippers. <laughs> what the fuck are these things? Okay, blaze of fire on y'all. Feel the taste of my fire! Ah. Mm. Damage is all I missed with a small explosion. Ooh, nice! <laughs> nice. All right. Easy peasy. Yay. She got a new point. Accelerate. Um what was I gonna use her points for again? Harpistry. Was it harpistry? I need. She has none of fire though, that's weird. She's literally air, earth, thunder, but no fire? Anyways. Hmm. 
Okay. I don't know what these guys are doing. What the hell are these? Who are you? Excuse me. I researched you here from Sniffholm. The Sultan of Galopolis is giving me special mention of to to these runes, yes? The stairs can be seen so clearly from here in the desert, and that's why I'm thinking these stones are used for some sort of star-related ceremony. Okay. Why are you out here when there's a beast roaming around? Do you know that there's a beast roaming around? Okay, there's a shiny over here. Get the shiny. Doomberry. Maybe fight a crab. What is over here? Okay. I don't want to go too terribly far. Is this the beast? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a spiz fire! It's the thing I need to, to kill! Ooh. Ooh! Um... I don't know, this guy's strong. I didn't expect him to be so strong. Um... Jesus. Okay. Fizzle. I do already have him to fire, okay. I hope this helps. <laughs> Half inch steals an item. Why is he attacking Idian? She's pepped up. Really? That's the first time someone's actually died. Pepped up. So I'm gonna send a defense because I need her. She can't actually. Okay, so she doesn't have. Oh my gosh, she doesn't have any items to revive people. Shit. Okay, uh, defense then. Uh, 
Oh, I need to equip them with some stuff. Anything either. Crap. I've never really had to revive someone before, so you know. Okay, so defend again. Please attack Eric or something. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Thank goodness. I was supposed to attack one of those things with when all my party members were pepped up, which is really obnoxious. Should probably buy more of those. Yeah, give her something. to come back and kill that thing again. Kinda not looking forward to that. Ooh, a treasure chest. I see you, crab. Kill the crab first. Crabber dabber do! Another one bites the dust. Play of light. Hmm. Little crabby dude. You're in my way, crabby dude. I need to get to the sparkly over there. Oh, and a creepy dude. Okay, um... Oh no, the crab is fast. Kabuff. Oh my god. He is speedy little fuck. Well, at least he's memorized. Mesmerized, I mean. Why is he so strong? There we go. Oh, jeez, that was ridiculous. Score one for the good guys. <laughs> Score one for the good guys. Uh, Oasis water, okay. Not again, crab. Get out of my face. Oh, there's another one. Oh god, I don't want to wait until I'm all pepped up to do that shit. Oh 
I'll do it fine. I'm close to the fire anyway if anyone dies. Alright. Holy Jesus. Kill Veronica again, because she's fucking weak as fuck. Ugh. Let's rock! God, it sucks that he gets two turns of attack. Oh, he's pepped up. I wish I was pepped up still. So she's kept up. Man. I wish I was pepped up. to get all three of them pepped up at the same fucking time. It's almost impossible. Uh, is there anything I need? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Gotta learn it, which is dumb. Dodge chance. Really? I guess that's useful. Magic beast died. That makes me kind of mad. Okay. Oh, oh, the heat, the dry air, it is too much, too, too much. Let us spend the night here. The monster will have to wait. Oh. Oh, ah, ha, there you are. Uh, as you can see, I have decided to set up camp. Mm -hmm. That's right. You get your beauty sleep, Princey dear. You've got a hard day of getting us to do your dirty work for you to be preparing for. <laughs> he said Come it. on you. Let's have a sit down and a nice chat, shall we? So, two boys and two girls out on a lovely adventure together, huh? How romantic! But what kind of adventure, I wonder? Come on, spill the beans! To be perfectly honest, we're none too sure ourselves just yet. But for the moment, we're trying to get to Yggdrasil. We need to understand more about the mysteries surrounding the Luminary, you see? It's all to do with a horrible being called the Dark One. He wants to bring death and destruction to the world. And we want to stop him. All right, Big Mouth. That's enough. 
You don't need to tell the Jolly Jester our whole life story. Jolly Jester. You barely know him. My, 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 my. So there's a dastardly villain coming to steal all the smiles and laughter from the world. And you four heroes are on a daring mission to stop him before it's too late. Oh, now that does sound fun. Hmm. You've got a strange idea of fun. What about you, Silvando? What made you leave home and set out on the road? <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear my boring old stories. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Come on, kitties. Betty buys. <laughs> well, aren't we full of mysteries? What's his deal? Don't know. Morning campers! Hope you slept well! We've got ourselves a slayer to catch! Our little princey Pooh and his friends set off at first light. We better hurry if we want to catch up with them. Why would he run off without me, idiot? Uh, okay, I need to save. Right, guys i'm gonna end it here um hopefully we'll get to the creature next time and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>